So yes, I made this mountain climber character. Go to Mixamo and download this racing character. Yes, I'm really exploiting that Mixamo website. And Blender remove everything that we don't need. Use of displacement modifier to inflate the mesh. Apply the modifier and switch to the sculpting mode. Use the smooth brush to clean up the mesh that got messed up by the displacement modifier. Go to the material tab, use a color ramp to adjust the roughness texture and use a hue saturation node to change the color of the suit. Rip off some other Mixamo models to add more detail to your mesh. Adjust the scale and use proportional editing in the edit mode to make them fit your model. Use the surface deform modifier. Choose the character as the target. Now it moves with the rig. I use these gloves on my spacesuit character. Use a mirror modifier and place them to your hands. Select your rig and go to the edit mode and adjust the bones to the hand. Parent the hand to the rig with automatic weights. Now the automatic weights didn't do a perfect job, so we have to adjust the weight panes manually. Rigging can be annoying. You can copy the name of the responsible bone and search for it with Ctrl F in the weight paint list. After you have fixed your weight painting, give him some shoes. Adjust your rig in the editing mode again. Now in this case, automatic weights didn't work at all, so I had to do the weight painting manually. You can use the Mixamo add-on to create a control rig with inverse kinematics. Add more details to the character. I downloaded this climbing harness from Sketchfab. Use twists to quartz and merge vertices by distance to correct the geometry. Use proportional editing again. Now in this case, surface deform didn't work here perfectly. So create a new vertex group. Select the parts that didn't work with the surface deform and parent the mesh with automatic weights to the rig. Now we can use the vertex group as a mask for the surface deform. So the surface deform is only responsible for the upper part and the armature only for the lower part. I added some spikes to the shoes. I used the plane with a shrink wrap modifier to create these sort of patches. They're all binded with a surface deform modifier. Surface deform is kind of like a lazy method if you don't want to rig. I've modeled this thing around his neck and used sculpting to make it look more like cloth. I downloaded this mask model I found online. I can't remember exactly where I got it and I used these goggles I found on BlendSwap. Add a zipper on his chest. I used a shrink wrap modifier for that. Create more Trimog accessories like these carabiners. Add a backpack. For the materials I used this fabric texture for the gloves and adjusted them with color ramps to make them darker. Use a noise texture to create a frozen layer on top of the glove.
use the image texture for the zipper. I use this cloth material from Bridge. Use the ambient occlusion map with a color ramp to color it red. Put some noise on top of it to add some frozen snow. Mix that with an ambient occlusion node to only add snow in the crevices. Use a Voronoi texture for the backpack loops. Turn down the randomness and increase the scale. Use that texture as the input for the bump node and the roughness. The hood had the same material as the backpack only with the color ramp set to blue. And that's how I made this character for my next short film.